season. On to game three. Elapis. Alright, it's a Shadow Creep deck. We're going second. Let's replace Trinity Oath and uh, probably the Blistering Scorn as well. It's kind of too early for that. We got a Blistering Scorn back and a Holy Immolation. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. So I have to replace a Holy Immolation. An ooze. Alright, so let's we have to replace the Holy Immolation. We get a Sunforge Lancer. Hmm. So let's just go over there. Then we'll go over here. Play a Sunforge Lancer right there. We'll end our turn. So we got two scintillas, I might replace one. I don't, I don't need two scintillas with me right now. So, yeah, hopefully I get something good. Yeah, I'm starting out behind, that's not good. So it's gonna play an another ooze. Alright, let's replace this scintilla. I get a Trinity Oath, which will be great once I get the... Uh, I don't know. So, we can do a Blistering Scorn, but then... Uh, he's gonna summon two... Two Shadow Creep. I don't know, let's do... Let's do a Draining Wave, get rid of one Ooze. Well, it's gonna spawn on me. I'm going to just move everything above me. The next turn I can do a Scintilla Bloodborne spell. Or maybe I have to do a Scintilla now. Um uh, eh, let's let's just end our turn. So we got an Iron Cliff Guardian. I am playing behind. Like where's my two and three cost things besides the Scintilla? And Abyssal Scar on the Sunforged Lancer. To a, uh, will the Sunforged Lancer die then? It feels like it's. Yeah, it's gonna die. Well, I'm really playing behind. Anyways. Uh, five mana. Let's just do an Iron Cliff Guardian here and move up here in our turn. Battle Pass is going to move up and attack nothing. So the next turn we'll have six mana. We can do um, a Scintilla if we wanted to, or we can do a Tempest into a Holy Immolation. Purgatos. It says whenever this minion takes damage, uh, deal either 3 damage to the enemy general or restore 3 health. Um, that is the thing I have to get rid of, however, uh, this Iron Cliff's not in the right area to do so. Hmm. So let's just do a Tempest right now, see how that goes. And then move this over here and do a holy immolation. Just gonna spawn the shadow the shadow creep spawn on the same spot. That's fine. Um, let's just kill the Purgatos right now. See how it does. It's gonna heal him for three, that's fine. Um, we'll end our turn. So we got a Trinity Oath which we can recover health with. We got a Scintilla in our Bloodborne Spell which we can recover our health with. So we do we both have four cards. Uh, this match is interesting. A shadow sister. But does he have a punish? No he doesn't. He has a spectral blade though. Alright, so that's a 3-5. We have seven mana. Let's just move this over, move this over, oh, I know I'm going to take one damage. Uh, we're just going to play a scintilla behind, and then 
just going to do an afterglow first and kill off the shadow sister because that's going to be a threat. We'll end our turn. So we gain one health. So we got a Windblade, I might replace that. I might just do a Trinity Oath first because I need the health. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what the opponent plays. Like, he can easily punish the Ironcliff Guardian. Um, it's not going to destroy the Ironcliff Guardian with just the Spectral Blade and the Sh Abyssal Scar, so we'll see what happens. Sunset Paragon, never mind. So he's going to destroy it with the Spectral Blade. I mean, it, it removes the charge though, so that's good. And he doesn't have enough mana to punish. So, uh, we can't even do our Bloodborne spell. Let's replace the Swin Blade Adept. And we got a Silver Guard Knight. So, first things first, uh, we'll do a Trinity Oath to heal and to get cards. And we have four mana left. Um, let's just do a Silver Guard Knight here. And then we'll. Kill will attack the general? No. We'll move things back. That's what we'll do. Move things back like that. And then we'll No, I probably shouldn't have done that. Well we'll end turn. So we got a windblade adept again. That's not kinda that's not good. Pergatos, the realm keeper. To an uh, ugly jeez. So he's just gonna destroy the Silver Guard Knight. But the Spectral Blade's gone, that's fine and dandy. But our Scintilla's gone as well. So, we have 9 mana, let's replace this one blade, it's, it's not gonna be useful right now. Um, we need to get rid of the Ghost of Zalia, that's the issue here. So, I'm just gonna go here, play a Silver Guard Knight. Like so. And then we'll play a Blistering Scorn. So you remove a charge and we can just heal up the Silver Guard Knight for now. And then we'll end our turn. So we drew a Holy Immolation which is great. I don't know if the opponent's going to go near us or not. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup. Like the, our health pools are similar. Yes, two cards, so we, we do have the card advantage. We have a lot of heals, so we can heal back up if we wanted to. We can also do a Holy Immolation onto one of the Azure Heralds if we wanted to, assuming he destroys both of our things. I don't know, we'll see. An Abyssal Scar on the Provoker, okay. Does he have a Punish? Or Dark Transformation. Why did he... Why would he do that if he had a Dark Transformation? Oh, to get the Shadow Creep, that's why. No, he's not being smart. Or, I mean, he's being smart about it and is not uh, uh, moving closer. But we're just going to move forward to him. So this is going to kill the Wraith thing. We're going to move up. We're going to do an Azure Herald, healing us for three. And we're just going to do a Holy Immolation, getting rid of the Ghost of Zalia and the Purgatos. Alright, and we have some mana left, so let's just heal up the Blistering Scorn. Next turn we can do a Trinity Oath, and it's, everything's good. So we got our third Azure Herald. I might replace it, but I'm going to do a Trinity Oath first, see what I can get out of my three cards. Spectral Revenant, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna get hit for four. Well then, let's do a Trinity Oath. Because <laughs> we gotta have to. We got a Healing Mystic and two Meltdowns. That's kind of disgusting in a way. Um, but let's just do a Sun Bloom over here to to dispel the Spectral Revenant and these two Shadow Creep tiles, three Shadow Creep tiles actually. So now that's a, it's a 6-5, it's still a threat, 
uh, in a sense. However, it won't do four damage to uh, whatever. But let's replace a meltdown. And we got an Excelsius, which is fine. Let's go over there, and we'll end our turn. So the Spectral Revenant can't reach me, but it can go for the Blistering Scorn if it wanted to. Shadow Nova. Well, dang. <laughs> Into an Abyssal Scar on the Blistering Scorn, so he's... yeah. Does he have another Ghost of Zalia or something? No, he doesn't. Okay. So, we can do a Sunriser for the Spectral Revenant or the Soul Reaper. Uh, we have 9 mana, that costs 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8. So I can do 4 damage. I can do 6 damage, however, uh, let's replace an Azure Herald, see what we can do. We got a Sworn Sister, uh, let's just move down here, no, let's move over here. And then we'll do a Sunriser here, and then we'll just use this as a block and heal ourselves killing the Spectral Revenant. Alright. So what can we do after this? I don't know if he has a Ghost of Zalia in his hand or not, that's a problem. Um, uh, let's end turn. <laughs> uh, Windblade Adept, nope, I'm going to replace that. Like, the Windblade Adept's nice early on, but as it as the game progresses, it's kind of uh, a non-issue, I would say. So, another Shadow Nova. There's a lot of shadow creep going on. Into an abyssal scar. Alright, so let's just move the sunriser out. And he doesn't have a minion out, so we can do a meltdown. So we'll just replace the windblade adept. Uh, we got a scintilla. So let's move over. Let's play the meltdown. Actually. Yeah, let's play the Meltdown here so he doesn't punish it, but he can just a Abyssal Scar out of the way. Um, I don't know, let's do our Bloodborne spell, heal this back up, do 7 to the General. And then we'll attack the General for 1, and we'll end our turn. So I'm sure he has a removal for the Meltdown, otherwise it's kind of game over. Yeah, Obliterate. He kinda had to do it. So that's 12 damage, we're both at 5, but I do have heal spells, so let's just go forward. Uh, we have 9 mana, let's just play a scintilla here, into a healing mystic here. So we'll heal up, and then an azure herald healing us up again, and we'll use our bloodborne spell to heal us 3 more. <laughs> so that obliterate didn't really work out. For him, uh, but I mean, he had to get rid of the meltdown somehow. So let's uh, end our turn. So we got even more health, and we have a 1919 Excelsius. I don't know if he can deal with it in his hand or not. I mean, he does have punish. He played punish before, so he could always just abyssal scar punish. But uh, I mean, it is a threat for the opponent, so we'll see what happens. The Abyssal Scar, the Healing Mystic, and alright, he used the Punish on the Healing Mystic. So that's two Punishes down. I don't know how many he has in his deck, but he played two, so he also used the Dark Transformation early on. I don't know what he has in his hand, but um, let's do an Excelsius, just because we kind of have to. And then we'll just do our Afterglow. I... Oh, it just, it, it still gets plus one, plus one. Uh, let's just move up, move this over. Actually, let's keep it there. We'll end our turn. Bone Reaper. Into an Abyssal Scar. So the card he drew was a Bone Reaper? Inkhorn Gaze. Okay. 
Okay, it's still game mode for him, so uh, we'll do a well played. And then we'll do a Trinity Oath, um, attack this, killing the Bone Reaper. And do a Scintilla, do a heal, yo, heal the Excelsius. And then we'll just attack the General for a lot of damage. Wow, that was a long game, but that was really interesting. It was back and forth, back and forth, but we had enough heals to uh, out heal the damage. So yeah, all, all in all, this was a really great match in my opinion. Uh, really fun too.